Hello my soccer universe, for a rare double unpacking, an African double unpacking, hence I'm wearing Mali, at the time of shooting Mali already out of the AFCON, unfortunately. And uh, when it comes to these two that I have here, we have one parcel of a team that is unfortunately already out of the AFCON, but it's a really, really nice jersey, and one team that is still in the AFCON, uh, and it's a jersey that I've been lusting for, if you like for almost two to three years and i was very happy to get this one on a discount both of the jerseys each one cost around 40 euros including shipping i was hoping that this one arrives before the quarterfinals just um yeah it would have arrived on the friday it would have made it the delivery man messed it up so i got it a day later but i want to actually start with this one here from a company called outfitter where i found this jersey and i cannot tell you how pleased i was to actually get this one uh i was a little bit thinking back and forth but yeah it would fit very nicely in my collection and as i said it's a jersey that i have been wanting for quite a while of course it's not from this year's afcon uh i had the chance for this team to get one from will haben but i was not 100 percent sure about the authenticity but yeah it's from the last afcon it's a player version player spec that it's what makes it so cool so here we have uh it's also a pretty sizable <laughs> version because i think it's yeah it's a double xl but for player spec that uh, that that will be fine let me reveal it to you dark green dark green any 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 guesses of course it's nike it is the nigeria away jersey from 2020 let's take it out it's actually quite weird this bag here doesn't have any obvious opening that uh, is a first for me for nike so we just tear it open and here we go it is the weapon it version of this beautiful beautiful nigeria shirt yes it is not as spectacular as some of the home jerseys but i have have to say I really like the pattern on the collar and on the sleeves. Uh, this is of course very, very nicely. Typically, um, wave, wave, wave weapon it is just a hard carton more, more or less, but very thin. And of course it has this overall pattern, which I don't think does a whole lot, but it has this teeny tiny ventilation holes, which is something I think you may see it shining through and if not, this is what makes uh, this shirt probably really, really comfortable to wear, especially when it's a little bit warmer or if you need, you know, how do I say, if you're running in the warmth, makes it de de definitely better. As I said, uh, there have been more spectacular Nigeria jerseys. I do like this pattern here on the sleeves. It's interesting on the cuffs here on the back. It's actually uh, plain. I never knew why we have this collar here, the fold over on the back, but now I have quite a few jerseys from that uh, type. Most, uh, but that's the first one that's a uh, player spec. I don't, I don't have that many way weapon it. It also has the pattern here on the sides. And the flashes, which were also kind of a weird Nike, Nike, Nike thing. But here it's really about the colorway. And I have a light color, you know, the 18 Nigeria home jer uh, jer jersey. And now I have this away jersey. Um, I want to have a darker color, color, color one. I think this is, looks really, really pretty. Um, yeah, maybe it names it or whatever would have been nicer. But given for that, I got it for relatively uh, cheap. I think uh, they were selling it initially for 40 plus shipping. And then I signed up for a, a newsletter, got a, Q, uh, a coupon, so I got it for 40, including shipping. Pretty nice, I have to say. Really, really pleased with this one and yeah i think this is also one that i'll be wearing because i see the size is very amenable for it to be worn by me the other one is a little bit more special because it's from a brand that i don't have yet well with every with, with, with the afcon that's not too hard to be honest uh because there are so many brands in there but this particular country had already a jersey that i really really like in 2019 where i just couldn't find it uh to be honest um but this time around they were selling it and i saw on, i saw on footy headlines that this company was selling a jersey for a rather reasonable um 35 euros i said 
for that. That's actually quite cool. I expect everything to be printed on, but I really like the design. What works especially is that it's a really, really tiny company from Braga in Portugal called Lacatoni. And I'll show you the jersey there that I got. It's red, can be Mozambique, can be Angola. It is Angola, who made it all the way to the quarters where they were eliminated by Nigeria. If you, <laughs> wouldn't you know it. And let me get this jersey out of the bag and then we'll uh, low look it because I think it's a really, really nice looking one as well. So here it is and curiously enough, the Federation logo, which actually is quite nice. And yes, there's a soccer ball, but this is how you do it. You have the end and the lobe and then the, the circle is a soccer ball, but at this distance is very similar, maybe a little bit more bendy than the one on the way on the way on it. But this jersey, well, is not as ventilated Pro properly. Let's check it out. No, but it has actually quite some interesting patterns. But this jersey costs only brand new 35. I think I went here for an X. L, uh, the size and could be an issue. Southern Euro, U U European I could be probably a little bit tight, but yeah, I feel uh, my 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 brother. Um, but this is the current Angola home jersey. Uh, also, a local artist made this pattern. I love the pattern here, but there's also a pattern here up front, on top. That's really nice. The Lakatoni logo is screen printed on, and this is actually uh, very similar. It's very, it's very thin, very bendy, but but it's it's, it's uh, substantial. So I uh, actually really like it. Glued on, we have the same here on the sleeves. The pattern that we have on top, we don't have the pattern on the bottom though. But there is a diamond pattern in there. I hope the camera picks this up. There's a, a, a diamond pattern that you also have on the back, which diamond pattern goes all over but that's actually quite nice uh, it has a slight stretchy feel to it uh, not crazy but it is it is a stretchy material but I gotta say I'm really really pleased and surprised by this one uh, is it a four-way stretch uh, yeah probably but it's it's a very very tight uh, uh, small stretch overall I never thought I will get a like a Tony Angola jersey, although meanwhile I shouldn't be that surprised anymore. I mean, I managed the Ernest jersey from Mali from 2019 uh, somehow, but yeah, Lakatoni. I have to say this is a really well done jersey. There's also the kind of official product code here. It's really well, well done. I also like it's also a little, little, little bit firmer here. Uh, gotta say, I I am actually pleased with that one way more than i even expected it i knew it will be a nice design but i think overall the jersey yes um maybe the seams here that looks a little a little bit cheaper but you know 35 euros i mean i don't expect super high quality so here we have the two african editions this one you'll probably see in the remaining videos for the afcon this one i have decided to put quarterfinal teams up so you will see it as well Fortunately, I decided too late to get it because it would have been nice to have it in uh, some review videos as well. But I hope now Angola will qualify a little bit more for, for the AFCON. But I gotta say, those are really nice, two really nice shirts. This one is probably from the design, a little bit more spectacular. And I'm really, really pleased with it. I absolutely love this pattern on, on there. And you know, I always think of Angola red with a black Maybe even a black and yellow stripe here. So I, I'm quite pleased with this a uh, little bit more traditional pattern. The Nigeria jersey, I really liked the really dark green Nigeria jersey. A little bit more simple and not this wild effect. I mean, the, cur the current one, I think, goes a little bit too much all out. This one here is very understated. It has a little bit with the patterning in there that makes it uh, nice. But um, I love it for what it is. So yeah. Two new jerseys added to the Africa Co collection. Nigeria is now one of the few countries where I have two jer jerseys, which is also quite nice. In any case, let me know what you think about these two jerseys. Thumbs up, enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you soon about more jerseys and more things in my soccer universe. Bye.
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!